Teddy bear. everybody it is about 20 to 8 it's a no makeup kind of morning for me my lips are um I, yesterday was a no makeup day too and I put on this um Milani rose hip hot hot pink lipstick just for the fun of it and my lips are still stained from it from yesterday evening so anyways we are just flying around trying to get out of the house uh, there is school today the snow is so full we got so much more overnight um, so we're gonna try and get out of here quickly so that we can take our time getting to school people around here drive like lunatics and it seems that every time that there is snow which is all the time there is there are accidents. People drive so foolishly. Um, where I live, we actually have, except if you're like on a side street or like in a subdivision, everywhere is four lanes. And there's usually like a lane in the middle, the suicide lane, the turning lane. Um, so everywhere is, is four lanes. Um, so people use that opportunity to drive very fast because um, if you can pass somebody, you can pass them. So anyways, it's what it, it is what it is but it's very frustrating and I um I used to never be scared to drive in the winter and I'm not scared but um a couple years ago um after, uh, shortly after Shane and I were married just a few months later we were in a car accident and it was a 360 rollover so and it was a one vehicle accident it was in January um it's crazy, we shouldn't have even been in it, but we slipped on some black ice, popped a tire, and then the force of all of that just gave this like 360 rollover. We weren't really badly hurt, bumps and bruises and some um, cuts and things, but it could have been so much worse. And so that really just changed how I drive. I grew up in a place in Pennsylvania where we get lake effect snow. So there's been points in time where that area has had like the most snowfall in the United States. Um, so like I'm used to snow driving, but the other thing that like has changed how I snow drive is my kids. Like I have something to live for and it changes the way that you drive. And a lot of times my kids are in the car with me. So, um, I just want to be as safe as possible. And even if you drive as safe as possible, other people might not be. And that's the case that I see all the time. So anyways, I don't mean to sound like a nutball, but, um, that is why we're getting ready and out the door a little bit sooner than normal hoping that the roads are clear and that's a look at our morning already so this just happened my stinking coffee cup spilled everywhere I lifted it up the lid wasn't on right and it's everywhere and it's all on me so yeah I am very not impressed not happy irritated that I've lost a coffee Ugh! welcome to my morning so I thought I would share with you um, how I package some of my Scentsy orders. This one is to a fellow named Doug. So when I can, I like to stick them in nice little gift bags with some tissue paper to just to um, make it like it's a gift because I appreciate that people are supporting my business and it allows me to stay home with my family and that means a lot to me. So this is an order for my friend Ty and it's just one bar so I packaged it up in one of these uh, little gift treat bags and use some stickers to hold it and I like to stick samples and um, other little goodies inside of my orders and then this is for Nancy so I get a lot of these bags just from the Dollar Tree and if you're familiar with Scentsy or, or you're a consultant, these bags are from the Dollar Tree and um, it holds a nightlight warmer and then bars. So this gal ordered a nightlight and then six bars. 
And then this is another one in just a pink tissue bag, and this is for Joanne. And then um, I have a couple other orders to go out. Um, one is just a bunch of bars that someone is picking up, and then um, a warmer and some washer whiffs, and I gave them a free bar as a little thank you for the order. And then this is just kind of what my workspace looks like. It's crazy right at this moment. Um, it always is a little crazy when lots of Sensi comes in. Lots of little individual orders that need to go out, so I still need to package up several more things, but these are the ones that are just heading out today. So I'm parked at my daughter's school waiting to pick her up from school, and that song Tub Thumping uh, by Chubba Wamba came on. I haven't heard that song in forever. That was <laughs> that was popular when I was in high school, and oh my gosh, it just wanted to make me like dance and jump around. I'm like, I gotta download this song because it's so stupid, but so funny and kind of gives me memories of being in school and I'm a cheese ball, I know. So we've got about 15 minutes until Aubrey is done with school. I like to get here early um, to get in line to pick her up. So the way that our um, drop off is at her school is that the parents who um, take their kids to school park on the street and um, you have to walk your kid into school and it's kind of a far ways and sometimes when you have um, a toddler or a baby <laughs> it is not fun because um, we don't put coats on our kids in the car um, so and we don't have a garage that like our car lives in so basically um, uh, So basically the kids put their gear on in the house, walk all the way out to the truck, get out of their gear and get in their car seats. And then the same thing happens when I come to pick up Aubrey. And so I've got to get Colt all bundled up, then all unbundled to get in the car, then bundle him up to get him into the school and then unbundle him to drive home. It can be a real pain in the patoot. So I am so anxious for um, snow to be gone so that we're not dealing with boots and coats and mitts and scarves and hats and the whole nine yards on and off, on and off. And he's kind of in this mode where he takes off his socks and it's like anything that he is wearing, Colt, um, in that he can take off when he's in his car seat he does so I've got socks all over my truck and I pick them up and I put them in my pockets so then I have no. pockets filled with socks and mitts and all kinds of things because he takes them off but anyway so that is just kind of how our cool carpool line works um there's no way to actually leave him in the vehicle and I don't know that I would really do that anyways um unless I could was like five feet away <laughs> But, um, yeah, I hate this point. I love driving my daughter's school. I feel very blessed that I'm able to do it. Um, I really, really do enjoy those last few moments to be with her before she goes off um, to be without me all day long. But the whole process of getting in and out, in and out, in and out, undressed, undressed, it's a lot. Um, and then one more random thing I wanted to tell you. I, this black shirt, I only own, so one more thing I wanted to tell you, it's kind of random, is I don't, so one thing I like to do, um, so because I work my, um, so because I am a mom who works, so because I'm a mom that has my own business and I work it from home. And I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm doing that whole balancing act. One thing that I do, that um, a tip I want to pass along, if you are someone who has your own business or you're working from home, is I look for the pockets of time during my day that I can work my business. And hey, baby. Hi. Um, and one of those pockets of time is actually sitting in the carpool line. 
I like to get here early, like I said, and I'll give myself about 15, 20 minutes if, if possible so I can get a good spot in line. But then I also use that time to work my business if I'm able to. I often will film videos for my team, so I'll just jump on and I'll share like a business tip or some encouragement or um, some announcements. And to be able to actually talk to them sort of face to face as much as I can via a video, um, I think it leaves, a, first of all, it's way faster for me than typing and having to log on and all that jazz. Um, and then too, it also gives that like personal touch. So I really enjoy doing that. And then sometimes I'll fill out um, postcards for my team, like recognizing them for their sales and different things like that. Um, and then still other times I will not do anything business related and I'll read a book. And that is that is my me time that I try and try and snag um, when I'm able to. But I've been really lucky because Shane has actually taken Aubrey to school almost all winter. So since kind of the beginning of December up until this past week, he's taken her every single day so that I didn't have to go out with Colt, which is, you know, super duper nice because I don't like putting on all that gear. So anyways, those are a couple random thoughts that are kind of rolling around in my head. I gotta get ready to go pick up my kiddo. the snow is. That's low. <laughs> okay, come on. Colt's very excited. Very nice. No, don't. No, no, no. Wait, maybe? Colty. Don't hurt the panda. Uh, okay, give it back to mommy. If you're not being kind to the panda, right? Right. Okay. So we're just sitting here after dinner and I thought I would show you some of what I got from my recent Scentsy order. I picked up a bunch of things for myself. So the first thing was this scent circle and the scent coconut cotton. I love this scent, obviously. Um, it is like so delicious. And then, um, this is a new product for us. This is called Scentsy Fresh, and it's in the scent Clean Breeze. It smells just like freshly washed laundry. It's so lovely. But so what this is, is sort of like a Febreze. You spray it on linens, on, oh, could you pick that up? on um, bedding, pet beds, things like that to make it smell nice and, and delicious. It's a linen spray. And then these two things are hand soaps. So I decant most of our hand soap into little glass um, hand soap pumps but the one I'd had in the kitchen 
was no longer working. It was not like bringing up the soap. So I got rid of it. And what I decided to do was take the one. Take the one from the laundry. No, Colty. Take the one from the laundry room and put it in the kitchen. And then I'm just going to put one of these into the laundry room. This will probably be a better option anyways because it's plastic. And um, the other one was glass. So that will just be better. This scent is Honeymoon Hideaway. And this one is coconut cotton. Just like this one. Yes, that's right. So then, what's the stuff here? <laughs> um, so then I have been loving our um, Scentsy diffuser. So I got this orange strawberry melon oil. Oh, it smells so stinking good. So there's that. I got two packs of light bulbs. I always like to keep these on hand for customers who may need a bulb because if your sensing isn't working, that is not a good thing. <laughs> and then I got a whole bunch of bars. My only sunshine. I can't. Shh, that's enough. I can. I cannot stop smelling this. Toffee Butter Crunch, this scent is no longer available. It was last month because it's last month. Um, so I picked up two of those. This is a new scent. Cotton Candy Cookie. Yum! <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um, and this is Coconut Pumpkin Pie. This is like an all-time favorite for me. Yum! Mm -hmm. Camu Camu. This is another like delicious fruity, tropical sort of scent that I can't get enough of. Yeah. Sunkissed Citrus. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet Pea and Vanilla. Yeah. Coconut yeah. Cotton. Yeah. Here's the other Toffee, toffee Butter Keep Crunch. Them. Clothesline. So this is another scent that's kind Keep of like a laundry them. scent. Um, not quite like Keep Clean Breeze, but again, it's very fresh and smells like Sweet, fresh linen. Um, another coconut pumpkin pie. Whoops. Summer holiday. This is probably my favorite scent out of the new catalog. I am like obsessed with it. Another camu camu. And this is country plum. This is our scent of the month this month. And I actually already had this on hand. I was making um, samples with it for some of my orders. Yeah. Honeymoon hideaway. Yeah. Okay. Give me passion flower. Give me passion flower. Stay a while. Stay a while. Seashore. And for the Daddy. longest time I thought this said seahorse, but Daddy. it's seashore. And then a clean Daddy. breeze. Daddy. Then I also got... Daddy! That's a big Yes. Let me show. And this Daddy. is our um, one of our Scentsy Buddies. This is Daddy. Shushu the Panda. And the last thing I got was this watermelon scentsy warmer. I'm not going to take it out of the box because it kind of just, I don't want to take it out of the box yet. I'll insert a picture of what this looks like. Well, hey there, friends. I'm just wrapping up for the evening, and I just wanted to pop in and say good night. I had a couple things I wanted to share with you. First of all, look at these icicles. Like, how crazy are those things? Um... We had our typical pizza for uh, Friday night dinner, and we had cantaloupe tonight, so I just cut all the rest of it up that we didn't eat, and they're kind of in smaller chunks than I would normally do, and um, yeah, so I'm feeling good that I have some fruit cut up for tomorrow. And if you caught my video yesterday, my vlog, um, you would have seen my Erin Condren haul, and I mentioned about how I got a notebook, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. Well, um, funny enough, when I had my big coffee spill this morning, I spilled coffee on my old Erin Condren notebook. I don't know if you can see, but that's the regular paper. That's what it should be. And then all the coffee stain. The notebook is, like, totally fine to be used, but I just thought that was a little comical. So I don't know if I've ever shared, but with this notebook, I actually use it to write Periscope notes. I think I may have said. Um, I use it to write, yeah, Periscope notes. I follow a lot of really inspiring people, and I write um, a lot of what they share in here. And then I wanted to give you a peek at my life planner. 
I didn't switch out the cover yet. This is the one um, that I have, and so the adventure begins, and this is my very favorite Bible verse. This is actually in my um, description box on my on my YouTube, um, all my videos, so you may have seen that in there. That's my favorite verse. So I actually didn't plan for Monday and Tuesday. It's kind of behind the ball, and I sit down on Sunday evenings, and I plan, and I didn't do that. <laughs> so um, I'll just kind of show you what uh, Wednesday and Thursday look like. Um... You know, I did some laundry. Um, these are some sensi orders that I need to get delivered. Um, I need, did I wanted to do laundry and iron in the evening. I don't. I didn't end up doing that <laughs> because we went for pizza at a friend's house. And I like to do the weather. And then so Thursday. So Thursday, um, this was an appointment that got rescheduled. We had barbecued pork sandwiches for dinner. It was garbage day, and then this means that I wanted to clean and clean my room and make sure that I put all of the clothes away. I didn't get that task done. <laughs> so that's something that I'm hoping to work on tomorrow. Um, I wanted to mop, so these are some of my cleaning tasks that I wanted to get done, and I did. Our small group was scheduled for that evening but that uh, we didn't go to that either. This was the night that we had our snowstorm. And this sticker right here, um, I've just covered this part up, but this is um, some people who I'm praying for. And then, so this is what Friday looks like. Um, I had to pay my credit card. I was supposed to meet with a friend tonight for Sensi, but we didn't end up doing that. Um, our truck needs gas. Um, we have pizza, and tonight I need to set up some deliveries for this weekend for Sensi orders. So I put this little circle sticker here so that I can check mark that off when I have done that. Um, it was a Sensi payday. And then this little box of things that I need to do. So prep some fruits and veggies. That was the cantaloupe that I did. Um, I don't think I'm going to prep anything else tonight. I'm getting pretty exhausted. I'm ready to go or relax. Um, tomorrow Aubrey has a birthday party to go to. Um, and uh, so I need to get a gift together for that. And tonight, oh, I'm so glad I looked at this. Um, I have a simulcast coming up in next weekend for Scentsy. But tomorrow morning... Um, I have a test run at 10 a.m., so I need to make sure that everything's going to work before 10. And then tomorrow, um, Aubrey has a um, birthday party, and we're going to do a Trim Healthy Mama Mac and Cheese for dinner, and I am committing to make it a lazy day. I'm just, I just need a day to kind of lay around. Doesn't mean I won't do things like I need to um, do laundry and I'd like to get my room all tidied up, but it is going to be a relaxing day. I don't plan on really going out and doing much of anything. And then a little don't forget, um, I have the simulcast. And then, um, so church, I have church, we have church and Sunday school on Sunday. Um, I need to take some Sensi to church, and then we will probably do some deliveries. Sunday evening I'm going to plan, and then Sunday evening we might go and watch Zootopia at the theater, and it's Sunday fun day. And then just some people I need to call. I haven't really needed to use much of this section today, or this week. And then here, more coffee. <laughs> um, under this thoughtful, thankful thought, I'm either going to put like a thankful thought or I'm writing a memory that I want to remember that the kids did uh, this week. So that'll be a good place to put those things. So that's kind of a peek at our week. And then I just got a sticker <laughs> order today. So I, it, I've had a lot of sticker orders recently. It kind of looks like I'm always shopping, but I'm not because we really don't have the money to do that. These were just... Um, I ordered these a while ago and they just came and um, they were huge, huge sales, like really big sales. So after this order, I won't be ordering for quite a while, I'm sure, but um, yeah, this was when I, I had some extra spending money. So this is a new shop that I've ordered from, Alley Cat Shop. She is in, I think, Prince Edward Island, uh, Ontario, Canada, or not Ontario, oh my gosh, Prince Edward Island, Canada. Um, she, oh my gosh, I'm so in love with her stickers. I can't even handle it. I've already actually put some of them in my planner. So this was the little sampler that she sent. It is so stinking cute. 
And then I picked up these tissue boxes. These are actually kind of appropriate because Aubrey started to get sick today. She has a bit of a cold, so um, yeah, I think those are so cute. And the colors of these are like my favorite. They are just like these light, bright pastels. I love them. Um, some payday stickers. And I like that they're payday flags, but then she also has some uh, dollar, dollar signs here too. And then these are date night stickers. And see, lazy day stickers. Um, yeah, planning on using every single one of these sometime. Some don't forget, and I use that one. Hello, they're all stuck together. And then these are so sweet. These are little appointment boxes. And I love just having a generic appointment box rather than just it being a dentist box or a haircut or something like that. I can fill in whatever appointment it is because there are a lot of appointments that I keep that are not like, you know, your typical manicure, pedicure, haircut, doctor's office, dentist, that kind of thing. So I love these. And then there's also these check marks here. And then I got some dew drops. So these are for YouTube. They've got little spots where you can check off if you've um, edited and uploaded it and all of that. And then just more little boxes. My battery is going to run out. Hope you guys all have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And we will talk to you later. Bye.